Can't wait to see all these characters' designs. Also, we get this new theme. You have allies who can take master exams. Take a look at certifications. Oh, master seals. This is uh for the final classes, the master classes. So everyone level 30 and up. So Lysithia could be a Gremory, right? I definitely want her to be a Gremory. That's like perfect for Lysithia. That's always what I make her. I don't really have many level 30 characters, so we're probably going to focus on that a little later on. Obviously, we're going to explore because we can't do much else. I forgot so this isn't here. A support? Oh, it's with Claude. Nice. Oh, hey there. What are you doing up at this hour? I could ask you the same question. My brain's just busy. Thoughts keep going around and around in there, and meanwhile, my eyes are wide open. At times like this, I like to gaze up at the stars to clear my head. I've been that way since I was a kid. Looking up at the big starry sky makes my dreams feel small. Which makes it feel like I can actually make them come true. I didn't believe in gods when I was a kid. Maybe that's because the night sky took their place for me. Hey, Teach. Will you talk with me a while? I would love to I talk to Claude. I figured this out, but I wasn't born in Fodlan. What? Where I come from, the people of Fodlan are looked down on as cowards. Oh, wait. I don't know what I'm saying. He wasn't born Fodlin. Never mind, never mind. Forget. Ignore me. Technically, that cowardice runs in my veins. On my mother's side, anyway. That's why the people who were around me when I was growing up thought of me as an outsider. But I don't believe the people of Fodlin are cowards. That kind of perspective is just based on ignorance. The person from Fodlin who I know best is my mother. She fell in love with a man from the wrong side of the border and had the guts to leave home to pursue that love. I always threw that in the faces of anyone who tried to make a fool of me. My mother is proof the people of Fodlin aren't all cowards. Just saying that doesn't achieve anything, though. I need to destroy the prejudices that have taken root in my homeland. That's why I came here, to see Fodlin with my own eyes. I thought I might be able to find a new perspective that could help me change things. And what did I find? That the people here view anyone who's an outsider as a beast of sorts. I was shocked. Even though our cultures and beliefs are completely different, our two lands have that much in common. That's when I realized the only way to change things is to bring the whole world together and start anew. That's the dream I've been working towards since I first entered the Officers Academy five years ago. To unify the Alliance, and then all of Fodlan, and to bring a new set of values to this new land of mine. After that, I'd expand that vision to the rest of the world, break down the walls, and let a new perspective come rushing in. Start all over. Do you think that's just a crazy pipe dream or a brilliant ambition? Oh, not at all, dude. That's a... That's a really, uh, that's an ambition. Can you make that pipe dream come true or can you rise to the challenge of that ambition? Not too long ago, I would have said it was too much for me to accomplish on my own. But that's not how I feel anymore. And that's because I have you on my side now. Lately, I've spent a lot of time thinking about how I wouldn't have made it this far without you. You and me, Teach. We can go anywhere. Do anything. I hope that you always walk in step with me. At least, until the day comes when we can look out at the peaceful world we've built. Together. I've said it many times and I'm going to keep saying it. Claude is such a great character. Claude is amazing. Aww. Like, in all seriousness, Claude is, like, one of the best characters in the game. Alright, well, we have a lot of quests to do. And so you may notice that... I mean, it's kind of obvious if you've been paying attention to the story, but... Exploring the monastery isn't going to take very long anymore because there are less characters than there were before. I kind of wonder if the Abyss characters... What would happen if I go to Abyss? I'm going to try that later. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's go see Bernadetta. At last, the return to my domain. I've 
lonely paradise. My realm of exquisite solitude. What happened to your hair, Bernadetta? Huh? Professor? Is that, um, is that you? You, um, you didn't hear that just now, did you? Hear what? Right. You didn't? Well, um, good. <laughs> what happened to her hair? We have a lot of quests to do. Hey. Luckily, we don't have to talk to too many. Like, I'm not saying I... I know a lot of people. There are people that say that talking to people in the monastery slows down the pace of the game. Which, I guess, it really depends. Like, it, it could just be, like, this isn't your type of game. Like, a lot of people just, like, don't like the monastery bit. There are people that say it slows down the game. I love the monastery bit, though. It, it just adds to the story. It adds to, like, the world, the characters, the different lore. It just adds so much. I love the I love the monastery bits. I'm pretty headstrong, but Claude could give me a run for my money. I mean, he's dragged the knights into this. You ought to be careful, Professor. No, I trust Claude. No worries. I'll be fine. I wonder if you've got a hidden headstrong side. You must be hiding it really well, though. Excuse me. Could you do me a favor? Yeah, the requested Excuse sources. Me. Could you do me a favor? And fine flowers. Giving best girl flowers. Anytime. I would do that even if it was in the quest. If if I knew how to get flowers. Can I harvest anything? Oh, I didn't plant anything. Thanks so much. You're a sweetheart. There you go. Any flowers I have? I don't have any flowers at the moment, so I'll probably have to, like, buy a flower or something. Hey. What's up? Do you have time for a That's the big one, the mysterious fish of legend. Oh, I get to do a quest that involves fishing? Don't mind if I do. I was gonna fish anyway today. I don't know what this big one is, but, um, hopefully we get it. And keep trying. Or maybe I'll just look at the quest and see if there's a specific bait we need. Probably want to do that so I'm not wasting too much time. Except for every five years in the wake of a store, a mystery, a mystery fish appears and eats up. Oh no, it doesn't show me. It doesn't show me what kind of bait I need, or is it just any bait, I guess? I guess I'll just keep trying and see if I get it. I pressed A too early for some reason. Is this the a strange fish? Oh my goodness, it's so fast! It's so fast! It's so fast! Old Landy, is that the one I need? I'm gonna fish a little more and then when I leave I'll figure it out. Why do I keep pressing A early? I'm just hesitant to keep fishing. Not hesitant. I'm I'm like in a rush to keep fishing. That was crazy fast. That mystery fish. I'm a. That's got to be the mystery fish. I'm assuming. Why wouldn't that be? That was insanely fast. You know, I'm kind of wondering how long this playthrough is going to be. Alright, that was the big one. Perfect. I'm kind of wondering what how long this game is going to take. Like, I'm 34 hours in. And this is part two. Like, I'm not saying we're almost done with the game, but we're pretty close. I gotta, I gotta be honest. I thought it was going to take me a lot longer to go through this game. I thought I was going to get to, like, the 60 or 70 hour mark. But 
Might only get to like the 50 hour mark, which is kind of surprising. But I could be jink- I could be like saying that and it takes so much longer. But I do plan to do all the paralogs, so it might take longer. I don't know. Dorothea. Where is your hat? Professor. Oh my. It's so good to see you. Yeah, it, it's good to see you, but where's your hat? These days, so many old friends seem to be disappearing. But you, you're here. It's incredible to see you again after five years. I have a feeling your name will go down in history. Why did you remove the hat? That was like one of your best. That was like what I loved about your character design. Yes, quite given up on ever seeing you again. Oh well. Where have you been hiding? Anyway, now that we're reunited in the land of the living, I must fulfill my promise. <sighs> right, the promise. Yeah. That's right. I promised the captain I'd protect you in his stead, and now I'll make good on my word. You know, actually, depending on how- I might go into Cinder Shadows directly after, depending on how long this takes. You know, if I'm like- If I finish the game and we're like 50 hours into the game and I'm, and I'm like, yo, I wanna play more Three Houses, I'll probably just dive into Cinder Shadows right after. Because Cinder Shadows isn't very long. I played through it. It takes like probably like 10 hours. It took me like 10 to 15 hours, give or take. Hello there. I don't know, maybe we'll do it. We'll see what happens. It highly depends how I feel after finishing this main game of Three Houses. This one, yes. I 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 so I gotta find the flower to give the Hilda. This one, yes. I this one, for the yes. quest. I this one, yes. I thank you. Return soon, please. Hey, welcome. You have a good up. 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 What flower do I have to give her though? Is it a specific one or is it just any from the shop? You have a good up. 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 Yes, a good eye. Thank you. Hi, Anna. There's unrest everywhere these days. All of my fellow merchants seem to be endangered. I hope things go back to normal soon. People need more to smile about aside from my great deals. Uh, what? Hey, how about a favor? More auxiliary battles? I'll accept it, but I can't guarantee I'm gonna do that, honestly. Oh well. Professor? Do you want to talk to whoever's in here? Uh, yeah, Lorenz. I have written to my father to signal my intention to remain here. Not that I require his approval to do so. There is not much for me to gain by returning to Alliance territory now. But by staying, I will be able to influence the course of events directly on the field of battle. We will not be friends, but I will cooperate with him as much as is necessary to secure victory. I do want to see what um, more of these characters look like. Well, I know what they look like because I play- Actually, I know what some of them look like. I know what all of them look like because you see all of them in the game regardless if you recruit them or not. Still, I'm gonna- For, for the playthrough's sake. A proposal why not go beyond the knights of saros instead uniting with allies from all across fodland to fight for our cause looking back it would have been best to ally with the kingdom and join forces against the empire but now the kingdom is not exactly well ingrid doesn't even look like herself i kid you not it doesn't even look like ingrid which isn't a bad thing, I'm just saying. She looks completely different. Members of the Knights tell me that Father left their ranks five years ago. Alright, your design is pretty sick. I do like your other one more because that's because I that's because I always like your first design. So honestly, she had a lot of competition. They say he announced he was returning to the kingdom, but nobody's heard from him since. I, I said she had a lot of competition. I meant her first design looks so good, so it had a lot to live up to. But this one looks good. Received word that he went back home to mother. Where could he be? Where are you, father? Oh, right, Annette's father. Maybe we'll be digging more into that subject eventually. Fine alongside you and everyone else is a dream come true, Professor. I'm sure it is. And don't worry about my little sis. Right now, she's back home helping out with the family business. I kind of figured I was going to be stuck going back and taking over for her. But thanks to you and Claude, I get to work on my dream of becoming a proper knight. Alright then. 
Who else am I talking to? Hey, hey, Professor! You won't believe what happened. I figured I couldn't go back to the Empire after Garrick Mock fell, so I started drifting across the Kingdom and Alliance. Then I just happened to run into our old class, so we came back to the monastery together. That's a good story. Give me this. Also, I'm gonna eat the characters for motivation. Oh my goodness. Everyone has like half motivation. Definitely best girl and... Probably Annette for now. I have eight activity points. That's a lot. Yummy. Who made this? I'll have to give my compliments to the chef. Ooh, <laughs> I love this stuff. Did you... Never mind. She says... Uh, Annette says the same thing. I was wondering, did they all have different, uh, different, uh, things? Different cook- it, different lines when they eat? eat. Bernadetta- like, honestly, I really don't like her new design. I hate to be so harsh, but I don't like her new design at all. I don't like her... Her time skip design. Hey, I could use a hand. Had the Srang region take them out. Oh, this is a battle? We're definitely gonna battle on the next free day, then. I need a favor. Soldiers obtain information... Probably also a battle? I don't know. Catherine Shamir. What's up, you two? I'm more of a mercenary than a knight these days. I work to get paid. I never was too attached to Fodlun. I was considering leaving soon. But I might change my mind if you're around. Oh ho ho! Sorry, but I'm the sorry sorry, but I'm like available for Hilda and Hilda alone. In Lady Rhea's absence, I will follow you. That's what she would want me to do. Know that wherever you might lead us, I'll continue searching for Lady Rhea. That's fine. Good, because I will not budge on that point. Welcome back, Professor. Glad to be back. 